I will now stitch the entire story narrated so far in proper pieces and I am now going to use the previous definition and state a very nice result. A sequence is a degree sequence d1 greater than or equal to d2 greater than or equal to d3 and so on greater than or equal to dn with d1 less than or equal to n minus 1. n is what? n is the number of vertices. This sequence is graphic if and only if the reduced sequence. Now, don't worry much about the jargons or the complicated words used. Since we have already solved the problem and seen how to draw a graph with the sequence, you must be able to visualize it parallelly as I am stating it. Now, it is graphic if and only if the reduced sequence is dash, which is star, comma d2 minus 1, d3 minus 1, so on, up to dn. Why is this the reduced sequence? Each time I modify the previous sequence, we reduce the degree by 1. Now, this sequence S dash is graphic. So, a sequence S is graphic if and only if the reduced sequence is graphic. Please note this word if and only if is very important. Why? In case the reduced sequence is graphic, then the given sequence is graphic. Now, the most important part is the following. If the last sequence contains all zeros or stars, then it is graphic. This is very important. Why? You need not even draw the graph at each step like how we did earlier. Right? You have a sequence, you reduce it, again reduce it, you go to the next sequence and so on. Once you finish the process, the last sequence which you get, if it contains all zeros, then the given sequence is said to be graphic. Now this theorem is called the celebrated Havel Hakimi theorem. We are not going to prove this theorem as it involves a lot of technicalities. We did the previous problem that is 5533222 in order to motivate you to think about this theorem. Now go back to that video, look at how the graph was drawn and you will now realize that the graph drawing is actually not required, that entire process is not required. Why? Just reducing the sequence and writing the sequences is enough for you to judge if a sequence is graphic or not. Now this is the right time for you to try out this sequence which was given in the previous video 5555222. Try if this sequence is graphic. This is the right stage for you to try out and check if it is graphic. I am now going to show you the solution for the question is this sequence 5555222 graphic. Well, we are not going to give you an explanation here, but you can watch the video and understand whether the sequence is graphic or not. Observe the solution. 